Hi guys! Today we're talking about triangles and if I take a triangle, okay, so here's my triangle, and if I extend any one side of the triangle, it creates an angle on the outside and we call this an exterior angle. Okay, All the angles inside the triangle are called interior angles and that makes sense. Interior inside. Okay, yesterday how I showed you that all the angles inside a triangle add up to 180. Okay, so if I take this angle, this angle, and this angle. Okay, so I'll, let's see, I'll turn this one around. Okay, and line it up with that one. Then take this one, line it up with this one. Okay, and you see how that makes 180 degrees. It makes a straight line. Okay, so this angle and this angle. All right, and I'm not. Gonna, I'm going to use this one, but so I'm not going to flip it back around. But if I take this angle, all right, and bring it down here, and I take this angle. I bring it over here, look what happens. Okay, all right, that's the same thing going on. I've still got this angle up top. Whoops, I grabbed the wrong one. This angle, still got the wrong one. Here we go. This angle up top, this one, and this one, all adding up to 180. All right, so guys, bottom line, this interior angle and this interior angle equals my exterior angle. And that's the relationship we're learning about today. Okay, I don't want that. Okay. So, I've got an interior angle and an interior angle and they're going to add together to equal my exterior angle. So 49 plus 75 equals 124. So X is going to be 124 degrees. This one over here, 32 plus 62 is going to equal my X. Okay. And the next page here, I found this cool graphic to kind of show the relationship angle one plus angle two equals angle three. All right. So down here I've got 57 and 56. I can turn the diagram around. It can face any direction. So if I want to know X, it would be 56 plus 57 equals 113. Okay, then over here on this diagram, this one's a little bit different. Normally I would say, okay, 72 plus, oh, curses. I don't know what that angle is, but I do know what the exterior is. So this time the angle I don't know is one of my interiors. S but I do know that 72 plus this plus X, whatever it is, will equal 125. So if I work backwards, 125 minus 72, I get my X. Which is 53. Okay. All right, the next part of your homework is kind of like a big puzzle and I find these fun to do but I guess I find all math fun to do. Um, draw on your knowledge of things like supplement. We're kind of putting lots of things together in this section of your homework. Supplementary, that's two angles that add up to 180. 
um, triangles add to 180. Okay. Um, we just learned that an interior angle plus an interior angle equals an exterior angle. Okay, so those kinds of relationships. Also, we did an example in class that involved vertical. Okay, it's not in the notes, but it's something we did in our activity today. Okay, so use this knowledge and, you know, I, what you're supposed to do in these problems is figure out the value of each one of the angles that are labeled with a letter. All right, well, go to an angle that's labeled with a number. All right, go to the 130. All right, I see 130 here. Now, I can use my knowledge of supplementary angles to say, oh, well, angle X is supplementary because that's going to form a straight line. Okay, so right here, I can figure this out by doing supplementary 180 minus 130 equals 50. Okay, uh, I know this angle with a square in it is 90. And yesterday we talked about how triangles add up to 180. So I could do 180 minus 50 minus 90 and figure out, use that to figure out that Y equals 40. Okay. Then there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You don't have to do these all the same way. I could figure out Z, for example, um, if I, I could use supplementary. If this angle right here is 90, if this angle is 90, then 180 minus 90 is also 90. I could do it that way. I could also say that 40 and 50 are interior angles that add up to 90. Okay, so I could do that a couple different ways. It doesn't matter to me which way you do it. Okay, same thing with A. I could find out that A is 140 a couple different ways. I could either say, well, it's supplementary to this 40, or I could say that 90 plus 50 is 140 exterior angles equal or interior angles equals my exterior. So when you're doing these diagrams, there's more than one way to find the answer. Just focus on the numbers you know and move toward figuring all of them out. Okay? So if I was doing All right. I'm going to do one more problem for the video. Okay. Lastly, some algebra. I'm going to shrink this back down in a minute. Okay. I've got an interior angle and another interior angle and they're going to add together, yellow and blue make green. They're going to add together to equal the exterior. Okay, so that's what our main focus is today. So, one angle, no, so I've got 2x plus 25. It's one of my interior angles. And 3x plus 10, that's my other interior angle. And they add together to equal my exterior angle, 7x plus 5. Okay, now we've got a big equation to solve. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to look at the left hand side and I'm going to see that I have like terms that I can combine. 2x plus 3x is 5x 
and plus 25 and plus 10 make plus 35. Okay, remember that um, the equal sign is like our battle line and 2x and 3x are friends. They combine their powers, okay? Now we have both sides simplified as much as possible. And we've got variables on both sides, variables on both sides. Remember we think of it and back in our battle analogy, 5x and 7x are enemies. 5x is smaller and is going to lose. So I'll we'll subtract 5x off each side. And then we're down to a two step. Okay, and after that, everything should feel pretty much the same as it has been. All right, we've got one angle, two times 15 plus 25, that's 30, plus 25 is 55. And three times 15 is 45 plus 10, 55. Okay, huge coincidence that they came out the same, guys. That's not gonna happen. That's, that doesn't mean anything. All right, and then my third angle is 7 times 15 plus 5 is 110. Okay, so how do you know you're right? Well, I'll say it one more time. It's not because 55 and 55 came out the same. That's a coincidence. How do you know something is the same? The check or something is correct. The check for this is to take your two interior angles, add them up, and you want to see do they equal 110. That's what you're trying to do to prove that you did it correct. Okay? Add them up, see if they equal 110. 55 plus 55 does make 110, so that's how I know I did that correctly. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.